Over the last few months, I designed and built a keyboard overlay app for streamers who want to show off their key presses when they play video games. It's pretty easy to set up and has a lot of customization options built in, so now I'm making a series of videos that go over all of the functionality. Let's get started. The app is built using the Streamlabs desktop APIs, so you need Streamlabs desktop to use the app. So once you have that open, you can go to the App Store, go to Advanced Search and type in Keyboard Overlay. I already have it installed, but right here is where you would press Install. So for me, I'll just press Open. And this is the App homepage. So what you want to do is click on Keyboard Settings in the top right, and then go to Hotkey Layout and assign your hotkeys. So once you do that, every time you press the keys on your keyboard, your overlay will respond. You can drag around with your mouse to reposition your keyboard. You can zoom in with the scroll wheel and you can also move around with, if you hold right click. There's two ways to add the keyboard overlay source to your stream. You can either click on sources in the editor, go to apps and then click keyboard overlay and then add source or you can do it through the keyboard overlay app settings directly. So to do that, you can go on the left nav and click keyboard overlay and then click the add keyboard overlay source to your stream. So that's done and I can see it in my editor here on the left. So you can see if I move around in a video game that the keyboard overlay is updating in real time. I can sprint, I can crouch, I can jump. Everything works as long as you set your hotkeys now, if I want to update the camera angle of the keyboard overlay, you can't do it through the editor. You have to actually open the app settings. So I can double click on the source and go to app settings. And then under keyboard settings, if I go on the top left, you can click the update camera angle button to update the camera angle of your keyboard overlay. So I will reposition my keyboard overlay, maybe like a top down kind of view, and then click update camera angle. And then in the editor, it's now in a top-down view. In the next series of videos, I'll be showing you how to further customize your keyboard by adding a skin, integrating your alerts, stream labels, and Twitch chat. Let me know your thoughts and feedback on the app. Thanks.